Okay, a really challenging um, bar model question. So challenging, in fact, that I kept expecting White Rose Maths to um, post a, a follow-up saying that they'd you know, forgotten a bit of a vital bit of information or something. Um, but when that wasn't forthcoming, um, I decided I'd better just crack on with it and have a go. Um, as it was, there was a follow-up tweet from White Rose Maths, not to say they'd forgotten anything, they hadn't, um, but a, a sympathy tweet giving us a nice solution, so probably so that we didn't have a sleepless night trying to think of um, how to solve it. Um, but I'll show you what I did and how far I got, and then I'll, I'll share with you um, the solution that was posted as well, which... Um, shows you how you could use um, a bar model to get to a full answer. Right, let's have a look at this. A breakfast cereal is sold in three size boxes, micro, standard and large. A store has 444 boxes of cereal in total. The ratio of the number of micro boxes to standard boxes is 3 to 1. In one day, the store sells 60% of the micro boxes, 25% of the large boxes and none of the standard boxes. There are now 285 boxes left in total and we're asked how many of each size box was there at the start. Now, um, as I said at the beginning, when I first saw this, I kept thinking, is there some information missing? Because we were told the ratio of micro to standard um, but there was nothing to relate that um, information to the size of the um, the large boxes or the, the, the ratio um, of the large boxes. Um, so, yeah, I, I um, just thought I'd better start uh, drawing it out to see if that did show me anything, which it did. So um, let's have a look. Let's see how far I got. So, um, right, we've got micro and we've got standard. And I know that it's micro is three to one, okay, to the standard. So I know I'm going to draw three units of micro to one unit of standard. Um, but I, looking ahead to this, it says I sell 60% or I sold 60% of the micro boxes. That's um, three fifths. So um, I was mindful of the fact that I was going to be dealing in fifths, wanting to sell three fifths. Um, how is that going to relate to my ratio? So I decided to make each unit, um, unit of five, one, two, three, four, five. So there would be 15 altogether. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. And again, three, four, five. Okay, so that's all of the micro boxes. Um, so three, two, one. All right, so that's the standard boxes. And then we've also got large boxes, um, but I we don't know um, how the large boxes relate, um, the, the number of them relates to the number of micro or standard boxes so I'm just going to drop these are going to be my units this is one quarter we're dealing because 25 percent are sold so I'm going to deal in quarters okay two three four okay and we're told that this all of this so this whole model is represents um, 444 boxes in total okay so that's where we start that's the information we're given at the beginning um, okay and then what happens 60% of the micro boxes are sold so um, that's three fifths that's nine of them okay um, you know five to 15 is multiplied by three so that must be nine okay so I'm just going to shade in nine of these boxes that's what's sold and one of these that's 25% of the large okay um, that's what's sold we're not told the value of what was sold but we are told what's left so we need to do um, 444 um, take away 285 okay that is equal to 159 that's um, sold 
Okay, that's what was sold. All right, I'm going to write that in here as well. 159 sold. Okay, so where did this leave me? I've, so I was sort of staring at this and then thinking, and, and it did help me um, arrive at my answer, which I don't think I would have done if I hadn't drawn it out. Um, so I still think that um, what I'm going to show you is still what I would consider a, a bar model method, because the bar model is just supposed to show you what calculation you could do. So, and what this does show me is that, um, right, well, nine of these squares Okay, I decided to call these squares and one of these rectangles, I mean, so this, this is one quarter, these are, I don't know, well, 20th if you include the, 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 the um, standard boxes, but I just might as well just call these squares, this a rectangle, that, so that's what I did. So I said nine squares, okay, plus one rectangle, okay equals 159 all right um then so that was what was sold um but what did i have left well what did i have left um 10 11 squares 11 squares plus three rectangles equals um 285 okay so what can i do with this um, well, it would be great, obviously, when you're doing simultaneous equations, you want to try and isolate um, one of the units. Or, and what I would like to do, I think, is multiply this line by three. OK, and that would um, give me then three rectangles here as well. OK, so what is nine by three? So that's... Um, Let's do it. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just have to write it out again. Twenty um, seven squares plus three rectangles equals and 159 times three is 477. And what I then want to do is take this away. So like so take away 11 squares and three rectangles, which we know is 284. Okay, so what's that going to leave me with? Okay, so um, 27 subtract 11 is uh, 16 squares. Okay, um, nothing there. All right, and that is going to give me 192. So I now know that 16 squares equals 192. And remember, these are the squares, okay? If I divide 192, so 192 divided by 16 equals 12. So, hurrah, I now know that each of these squares has a value of 12. OK, I don't have to fill them all in, but that's just to show you I could fill all of these squares in, including the, the standard that all have a value of 12. They, each of these squares represents um, 12 boxes of that size. OK, um, so what can I do? Well, if I know that each of these is 12, I know that I've got um, 20 of um, boxes here. All right. So the micro and standard together, okay, is 20 times 12, all right, which is 240, okay, so that's 240 altogether, okay. Um, I suppose I should be good and say that, um, so if I did 12 um, times, what have I got, 5, OK, so that's going to be 60 um, for the standard. 
All right, which must leave me with 180 for the micro. All right, um, but anyway, if there's 240 there, the difference between 240, okay, and 444 is going to tell me how many boxes I have here. All right, so 240, okay. That's 204. So there's 204 um, large boxes altogether, which tells me that each of these was worth 51. OK, so um, I've used simultaneous equations. Um, I could have been more visual with those. I literally I could have drawn, you know, nine squares and um, and one rectangle here and just crossed them out. Um, but it was only by drawing the model that um, I saw what it was that I needed to do. So um, I still think that's a bar model method. Um, but I will show you um, White Rose Math Solution, which is really, um, really nice as you um, would expect it to be. OK, so let's have a look at it, see if this works. There we go. Right. OK, let's have a look and see if I can understand. Um, I think I understand what they've done here. I think it's um, very nice. Um, OK, so here's the before situation. So these are the micro boxes like me. This was um, done in in fifteenths. OK, or each of these is divided into five equal size portions. Um, these are the same as these. OK, and um, and here we've just got four boxes to represent the large. And this is then what was sold. So nine of those um, portions were crossed out here. That was the 60% or the three fifths and one quarter here. All right. We've also got that the whole of the original model is 444. Um, and here we then have a representation of um, what was left. This is um, six of these units, all right, so five of these, so six of the micro, five of the um, standard and the three quarters of the large um, with a value of 285. Um, therefore, OK, then we've got the um, what was sold. OK, so this is the difference. So we know that the nine was sold and the one quarter. That's what's um, here, what's shaded here. And that that has a value of one hundred and fifty nine. OK, and then what they've done is really nice is to um, in order to multiply up to get to, you know, eliminate, as it were, the um, the large boxes we've multiplied or they've multiplied by four okay so we now have um, all of the large boxes here okay and then these um, nine have been multiplied by four so we've now got 36 here okay and um, and this has been multiplied by four to give us 636 okay we then need to compare this let's compare this to the original in the original, we have 444. We have um, 15 boxes and another five. So that's 20 altogether here. And um, and we need to compare that with what we have here. So here are the 15 micro. Here are the five standard. And then this is what is extra. OK, they're not from the original model then they're, they're extra um, this is from the original model so that should be included um, and then we have 636 if we take 444 away from 636 we get 192 which must be the value of this extra bit okay which is 16 extra units what I called s in in my model and then we're doing the same thing so 192 divided by 16 that gives each of these a value of 12 and that means you can work out the rest of it so um so i think this is um really quite a nice way to extend the um the bar model um method to right the way through to the solution all right i hope that helps thank you